after you have determined the moment and shear acting on the wall, toe and heel of the retaining wall, which is this, you may proceed with the design of the main reinforcement. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To determine the area of reinforcement bar, you may use these equations. First, you determine the K based on the moment obtained. Then, the lever arm in order for you to obtain the area of reinforcement bar. The required area of reinforcement bar is to be greater than the minimum area of reinforcement bar. As for the transverse reinforcement, the area of the reinforcement bar needs to be greater than the minimum reinforcement bar. The minimum reinforcement bar can be obtained from these two equations. As the concrete use is grade 20, the ratio of 0.0013 is used. At the same time, you may also check for the maximum reinforcement bar by using this equation. First, you determine the effective depth of the wall panel. It is calculated by using the thickness of the wall minus the cover and minus half of the reinforcement bar. The moment acting in the wall is used to generate the value K. The B is used as 1 meter width as a unit width. The K is found to be less than 0 0.167 and the K value is substituted into the lever arm for you to determine the lever arm. It is found to be more than 0.95D, therefore 0.95D is used. The lever arm Z is found to be 189.05. As the K is less than 0.167, that means there won't be any compression reinforcement required. You may go straight to the equations for you to determine the required amount of reinforcement for the tension bar. Substitute the relevant value, you obtain the required area is 67 mm square. Provide the reinforcement bar T. 12, 300, you will get the area which is greater than the required area. As for the toll, you may proceed with the same set of calculations, only that the moment used is different. And for the heel also, the same calculation steps is used, and the moment used for the heel is given here. Next, you need to determine the minimum amount of reinforcement bar and the maximum amount of reinforcement bar. The equations for minimum amount of reinforcement bar are given here. Eventually, you find that the AS mean is 259, as this gives you a higher amount of reinforcement bar. In comparison to the reinforcement bar provided for all the wall, toe and heel, the value is greater than the minimum reinforcement bar. Therefore, the provided amount of reinforcement bar is considered satisfactory. Then check for the maximum reinforcement bar. The amount of reinforcement bar provided is less than the maximum reinforcement bar, therefore it is considered acceptable.